everyone welcome to hopeful turns in this video i'll be showing you how to make this crochet pouches now you can use these pouches to store your cards you can put gift cards and gift it or you can use a smaller version of this to store your coins or some tiny little things that you have at hand these are very quick fix projects you can use up all the scrap yarns that you have and it really makes for a cute little gift if you want to gift them it is quite spacious you can even make it bigger or smaller the both the uh, pouches here has been made with the same pattern it's just that uh, you have to start with a different chain stitch which i'll be telling you how to do it it's a very very easy pattern we'll just quickly see the materials that you'd require so as i said you just need scrap yarns here here I have used for both of this I have used a medium four weight worsted weight acrylic yarn. You can use any weight yarn that you have just make sure to use a corresponding hook size. So for the worsted weight yarn here I have used a 5mm crochet hook. You might need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle and a stitch marker. If you do not have a stitch marker you can use a paper clip. A different color yarn whatever just to mark the stitch now if you are not a beginner you don't even need that it's just to be a little bit safer to get a count of the number of stitches okay so these are the few things that you would require now we'll get on with the tutorial but before that just a small request if you're new to my channel and if you like what you see please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing now we'll start so we'll start this with a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, take your yarn, loop it around your finger like an X, then pull your working yarn through this loop. So this here is your slip knot. Once you have your slip knot, make a total of nine chain stitch. So make nine chain stitch. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is for the smaller pouch and for that I have here put 9 chain stitch. If you want to make the big size pouch, uh, you might have to start with 15 chain stitch. So this has been made with 15 chain stitch. Here I am making a smaller pouch and the starting chain stitch is 9. Now we will move on to the first round. So to make the first round, I am going to skip the first chain, the first chain from the hook and going to make a single crochet in the second chain stitch. So skipping the first stitch, insert your hook into the second stitch and make a single crochet, okay. And then make one single crochet in all the stitches uh, excluding the first stitch, okay. So I'm going to make one single crochet in the next six stitches. So I'll just make that. So this is my second stitch here. So I'm making a single crochet. And till the very last, not the last one, but till the very last, I am going to make one single crochet each. Now, it would be a good idea to put the stitch marker so that you don't miss the first stitch. So, where I am going to put the first, uh, the stitch marker is, this is our first single crochet. And this is the stitch where I have made my first single crochet. So, that is where I am going to place my stitch marker so that I can identify the stitch here. So I'll just keep making one single crochet here till I reach the very last chain stitch. So here I'll have a total of six single crochet before I make, before I reach the very last stitch. Okay. So one single crochet I've put in every stitch and here I have reached the very last chain stitch. So in the very last chain stitch, I'm going to put three single crochet. Okay. So in the very last stitch, make three single crochet. So this is one in the same stitch, another one, two and one more, three. So three single crochet will go in the very last stitch. Now we'll turn our work and work in the opposite side. So this three chain stitch will help to turn the work. So come to the next stitch, this one and make a single crochet. That is the second last stitch. So here I'm going to make a single crochet. So here again I'll make six single crochet before I reach the very first stitch. So this is one. Come to the next stitch and make a single crochet. So here is my next stitch. 
and make a single crochet two into the next one another one three and while I'm doing that I'm taking this end along with me and I'm working on top of that so this is my fourth single crochet one more fifth single crochet one more and six single crochet so here I have reached my very first stitch now if you remember this here is my first single crochet and this the stitch marker where I had put it was the place where I had made my first single crochet so in that very stitch where my first single crochet has gone I'll put two more single crochet so one and two okay so basically what we have done is in the very first stitch and in the very last stitch we had put three single crochet and in all the remaining stitches we had put a total of uh, one single crochet each in all the remaining stitches only in the first and last stitch we are putting three single crochet now we'll finish this round and for that I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we had done so this was our first stitch and there I'm going to make a slip stitch so this completes my round one now we'll move on to our round two so from here onwards all the remaining rounds are the same every round we'll start with one chain stitch so chain one and then just place one single crochet in each of the stitch here okay you're just going to place one single crochet so insert your hook into the very first stitch and make a single crochet come to the next stitch and again make a single crochet and before moving forward I'll just place my stitch marker here so here from here onwards I'm going to place my stitch marker into the very first single crochet of every round so that will help so just keep making one single crochet in each of the stitches now if you are a beginner it would be very good practice to place the stitch marker so that you don't miss the first chain stitch and keep a count of the number of chain stitch in every round so uh, since if you remember we had started with nine uh, chain stitches in the very first uh, stitch so the our foundation was nine chain stitch so from here onwards every round i'll have a total of 18 single crochet so whatever is your starting chain stitch in every round from here onwards you will have double the number of single crochets so if you have started with 15 chain stitch every round you will have a total of double of 15 that is 30 single crochet okay so here i have reached the very end i think this is fine i should directly go and slip stitch into the first chain first single crochet but still i'll just give it a count so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's perfectly correct. I have my 18 single crochet and if you see here you have your chain one and you have one more stitch. So you, it kind of feels that there are two more stitches to be worked which is not uh, which should not be worked in. If you have double the number of single crochet just go ahead and slip stitch into the first um, single crochet okay so this will kind of curve now I'm going to flip this like this it's better to work from the outside and keep repeating the same thing so every round from here onwards our so two rounds is over so I'll repeat this for a total of 10 rounds so this is two rounds are over I'll start my third round and third round again I'm going to start with chain one and then make one single crochet in each of these stitches so here again in third round I will end up with 18 single crochet so just make the uh, repeat the same uh, process making one single crochet in each of the stitches so like this I'll just make one single crochet round and join to the very first stitch to end that round so i'll make a total of 10 rounds of single crochet and meet you at the end of 10th round so here i have finished making my 10 rounds and each round i had a total of 18 single crochet now we'll move on to make the flap here so you can make this if you want it a little more bigger just continue making uh, 
the single crochet row till the length that you want and once you are happy with the length you can start working on the flap so to make the flap what we'll do is we'll chain one and then make single crochet in half the stitches so here i had total of 18 single crochet so i'll make nine single crochet for my flap so this is my first single crochet second single crochet like that i'll make a total of nine single crochets uh, if you had started with some other number just make half the number of uh, single crochets for that so half of 18 is 9 so i'm making here a total of nine single crochets so i'll just give it a count so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and plus my chain 1. So here I've got 9 single crochet. Then what we'll do is we'll chain 1 and then turn our work. And then again make 1 single crochet in these 9 stitches. So place 1 single crochet here. Place the next single crochet on top of the second stitch. Like that I again make 9 single crochet. So 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. After that you have your chain 1. Just ignore that. That was just acting as your turning chain. After this again chain 1 and place 1 single crochet in each of the stitches. So like this I will make a total of 5 rows of uh, nine single crochet each so i have completed by two i'll make three more uh, single crochet rows each having nine single crochet okay so i'll make three more and meet you okay so here i have only made two more rows i i forgot to mention about the button hole so here i have a total of now four single crochet rows in the fifth one i'm going to place my button hole so for that again i'm going to chain one and turn my work here I have a total of 9 single crochet. So what I'll do is in the first 4 stitches I'm going to make a single crochet. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, And then I'm going to make 1 chain stitch. And I'm going to skip the center stitch that is here. Okay, So chain 1 and skip 1. And in the next 4 stitches again make 1 single crochet each. So the first four stitches and the last four stitches I'm going to make a single crochet and in the center stitch uh, I didn't place anything that is going to act as my uh, buttonhole and for that I have placed my chain one. Okay now we'll make the very last round sorry row I'm going to chain one I'm going to turn my work and again place nine single crochet just make one single crochet in each of these stitches so one two three four and the fifth one as you can see there is a chain one so inside the chain one i'm going to place my single crochet like this and then make one single crochet in the rest of the stitches so that's all to your pattern your pouch is done okay so i'll just cut my work here so this is how it looks you can just adjust the flap if you want a much longer flap you just continue making a few more rows of single crochet so here we'll just now place a button before that i'll just cut my yarn so here i had cut my yarn and i just uh, weaved in the loose ends i also attached a button here and our pouch is ready it's a very very simple pattern and you can make it in any size you just have to play around with the first foundation chain stitch okay so this was made with 19 stitch this was made with 15 so if you increase up to 20 you might get a longer uh, pouch and if you if you just go on increasing the number of rows you can have a bigger pouch okay you just have to follow the same pattern just play around with the chain stitch and make your small small pouches i hope you like the tutorial if you liked it Please do not forget to like and share and if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Until then, bye bye. Thank you for watching.